centre at St Michael's Primary School in Bournemouth, um, where 49% of our pupils are at EAL and we currently have 39 in the school. So um, it is crucial for EAL children to feel comfortable and open to learning after being thrust into a new and daunting environment. And art is something that bypasses um, verbal limitations. It can be accessed by all, um, regardless of background, culture, language, or ability. An art project is an excellent way of offering EAL people an opportunity to build up their confidence to a tangible achievement and to develop their language skills in a stress-free setting. An ideal context for teachers to be able to observe and assess the children's spoken language and plan sessions according to the children's specific language needs. This project, one of several, involved a group of year two EAL beginners who spent six sessions working together to make a large collage of Claude Monet standing in his garden. The children were introduced to the artist using a storybook and a puppet. <coughs> and in subsequent sessions, they created the artwork, learning various artistic techniques and practical skills while developing their language knowledge by being taught and having reinforced pre-designated sets of vocabulary, such as parts of body, colour, nature, weather. Initially, talk was encouraged by teacher-led modelling and questioning and instruction. But as the project progressed, the children's engagement and increasing confidence led them to communicate freely with each other using previously unfamiliar vocabulary to instigate their own discussions, share ideas and provide commentary, not only demonstrating a lexical development and improving language skills, but enabling the teacher to observe and record, anecdotally and using frameworks, the children's acquisition of the newly introduced language and their general language usage, such as prepositions in place, allowing future planning to be tailored to address obvious language issues and gaps. The Monet's Garden Project gave a group of young EIL learners who struggled in class owing to their language limitations and confidence issues a reason for enthusiasm and engagement, motivation and key um, to good progress for EIL learners. Their increased confidence was lovely to see. A previously timid and, and quiet child demonstrated herself to be the most artistically able in the group. Then the relaxed setting of the project just gave her um, a lot more social confidence. She became noticeably more vocal and less anxious about making mistakes, making it easier for the teacher to um, note the extent of her language. In order to learn English and to learn in English, children are able to hear and use spoken language. And since spoken language also feeds into literacy, it is important and helpful to assess oral language. Art projects such as this one provide excellent real oral situations in which language is purposeful and interactive. The children are able to take control of this over discourse and are motivated to practice new vocabulary. Difficulties that may be transferred to literacy activities can be noted and addressed and a child's linguistic progress assessed and monitored. An art project is a perfect context for talk, where there is a clear purpose to drive discussion. The children are happy to try and communicate in a newly common language to achieve their common purpose. They produce something of tangible, creative merit, and that they were proud to see up on display, making them feel valued members of the school community. Thank you.